Hello, I'm Antonio Neves, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age. Would you like to use New York Times content to build your own website and mobile phone applications? Well, now you can. A year ago, the Times quietly began creating application programming interfaces and APIs like a special public connection punched into the back end of a website. It lets outsiders access and manipulate certain sorts of content. The Times now has 11 different APIs for its articles, a bestseller list, movie reviews, and other material. Times API programmer Derek Gottfried appeared at the recent Creativity and Technology Conference. He discussed what outside developers are building with the API content that drives traffic back to the Times site. You know, the APIs really help us distribute our stuff into places that you normally wouldn't see us. So this is uh, Instant Watch. This is a guy that took the Netflix API and mixed it up with our New York Times critics picks. So you can kind of, instead of watching you know, crap, you can watch uh, New York Times approved stuff. And so Instant Watch allows you to watch the video instantly if you have a Netflix customer. This is kind of the prerequisite super mashup where the guy kind of gloms together all the different uh, APIs into one, so you can kind of search on iPhone and find out Twitter and Wikipedia and the New York Times and Flickr. And we've had a bunch of people do uh, mobile applications. This is an Android app using our Movies Review API, so you can kind of have all the movie reviews right there. This is one of my favorites, cause, just because he's using my API, the search, the article search API. Uh, and it's just another uh, take on how, how to uh, do search. And so our uh, article search is heavily faceted. So on the uh, right-hand side, those are facets about the article. So we actually have humans that read all the articles and properly tag them. It's not an automated system. Of course, we had to have an iPhone app. Someone uh, took our congressional APIs and built an iPhone app out of it. So it kind of geolocates where you are and tells you what the representative are and pulls together voting information, some stuff from uh, Google News, unfortunately. And then finally, we also actually use the APIs ourselves. So this is a product we released a couple of weeks ago called Times Wire. It's actually kind of a river of news aggregation type thing. So it's uh, the most up-to-date, the most recent thing we've published in reverse chronological order. And that actually uses, unsurprisingly, our uh, Times Wire API. Uh, this is a little bit different crowd than I'm used to speaking at. There's no one dressed up as a Vulcan or their World of Warcraft character, which is <laughs> really refreshing. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, finally, you know, go out and build something. Thank you. And that's it for this three-minute ad age. Thanks for being with us. I'm Antonio Neves at Advertising Age in New York.